We are here. We are here. We are here. What is an amazing day. Everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Hey guys, we are marking up ROKU. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on the monthly time frame. But we, we, we can identify a pattern in this area here. So the pattern that we are seeing, um, double top. We have that first leg, second leg, third leg, market push down for that fourth. Some type of retest push that market down a little further from this area here. So let's mark it up. Price action, last candle in the market. Is a doji. Price action goes up. We're looking for market price to break this area of highs. Uh, price goes down. We're looking for price to come down to this level here. And we can clearly see market is at that midpoint area, below the midpoint area. <clears throat> so with that double top, we received first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Market did break the support. Came back for the retest. This is why we have a doji here. And we're going to see if that market is going to push down further, uh, consolidate more, or push up back up to the high. Let's walk down the time frame and see what we see headed down to the weekly. So we can clearly see that market did break that area of uh, the support. So we got that break of the support. Market came back to retest. So we're going to see if the market, what the market's going to do is going to drop down, consolidate, come up. <clears throat> so if you put this area into like a little consolidation here, you just be waiting for the engulfing pattern. So if something engulfs and goes up, it has to engulf over. I feel like it has to engulf over this previous one, two, three, fourth candle wick to show dominance that this market is going to push up anything close below it's going to close it below the third to last candle or the second to last candle body market closes down market's working its way down headed down to the daily so i mean we can see structure we can see a pattern in here that price action is currently um at that midpoint of structure. So this week, price action areas, highs, uh, lows. The market price is just sitting right on that mid area of where the market <clears throat> um, came back for that retest, pushed back down to a low, came to the midpoint. Now we just got that consolidation. So we just waiting for the breakout to the top side and downside. If it breaks up, then we'll be seeing like a W formation. Uh, first leg here, market coming up in the second, third leg and market pushed up for that fourth. Um, if it's a, if the market drops down, then we'll be looking like a double top. First leg, second leg, market pushing up for that third. Market comes down that fourth, get that double top. And last but not least, the market would just keep on consolidate, consolidating in this area here. Head down to the four hour. So we just basically got an extension of candles in that area of consolidation. Okay, so no breakup, no breakdown. Spike second to last candle spike up to the high could be a major area of resistance. Market may not be able to break, may come down. But then we also have the same um, candle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth candle down this area here, which could be that area of market can break, create an area of support for that uptrend. Okay, so as we still waiting around for that market to do what it do, headed down for the three. So we can see all the touches to the top. Market spiked up once, maybe twice in this area here, three times, four times. The bottom side once, twice, three times. Four to the top, three to the bottom. Headed down to the two. Still see that consolidation extension of candles. Headed down to the one. Same as well, multiple touches to the top and the support. Support is showing more of a double bottom. So we see that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. We test at the midpoint. So that's the market breaking the resistance. So if we took a resistance line and we put it through the market, 
When we come off that third leg to that fourth, we get that break, market come back down to retest, and then the market shoots back up to that high, wasn't able to break, market pushed down from some type of double top, pushed down once, twice, back at that midpoint again, can't create some momentum for that push up of that area, if not, come back down. So overall structure is still showing us we in that midpoint area, waiting for a break up to break down. The further we walk down structure, all we see in that market's consolidated or that midpoint. All we need is some huge engulfing pattern. Look like it's coming up on the 30 and maybe the 45. Okay, so more like the 30 and the 45. These candles close out. Body. Last active candle, body closes out like this or lower. Market can be dropping down. Uh, body off the previous doji previous one two three four candles even the wicks showing that market can't push down further headed down to the 15 see we got that engulfing market previous candle at that doji also engulfed the previous side as well showing that the market price breaks that area of this body as market can't push down further So on the five minute, we're sitting on the doji. So what we need is some type of engulfing pattern for that market to come down further. But anything that comes down has to be strong enough to break the second to last candle wick in this area. It could be one candle on the way down or two candles on the way down, max up to four. <clears throat> so we can see what's going to happen here waiting for that breakout, something to engulf this candle here maybe once up to four times. Headed down to three. Okay, now we see some type of break. Market came back to retest. Uh, double top in this area here. Market came back to that area twice. So that's showing us a consolidation. So confirming one minute break, retest. Market pushed the spike up once, twice, three times. Wasn't able to break, came back down to a low. Pushed back up. So it's a structure forming. Could be a W for that first, second, third market push up for that fourth. This could be a double bottom here. So if we look down on structure, if we was able to go down extra one minute, this would be a single bottom, a double bottom here, and the market could be pushing up. If not, market's respecting that M pattern. First leg, second leg, coming up for that third, market drop down for that fourth. We got a double top at the top, triple bottom at the bottom. Market's still in that area. The breakout to the top side, the bottom side. Very important information, guys. Please study and review Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Click on images. Zoom into the images. See what the market's talking about. Patterns. Okay, guys. Very important information. Please review and study breakout and retest strategy. Click on images. Go through the images, seeing what the market's doing. If the market's at a low, working its way up. Once the market breaks that resistance, where's the retest at in this area of this candle? That's the answer for you. Hey guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. R O K U Stock.